So we're going to look at methods of sterilisation. So this here in front of us is called the autoclave. So you'll have already come across this. Um, and this is used to sterilise uh, metal tools. Um, there's some plastics that you can put into it, but they need to, you need to check to see that they're um, autoclave safe. Because if you do put plastic in here, then it will melt. So it is primarily for metal tools. So we've got some um, manicure pedicure tools and to pop in. So the lid comes off and you'll find there's a basket inside. So there's a basket inside with legs on, so it's raised. And inside we put a distilled water. So it must be distilled. So it must be purified water so that there's no residue buildup of minerals when it is heated. So that should always remain with the autoclave so that you don't get mixed up and put normal tap water in. Okay, so what happens is you lift that, fill the autoclave to the to the level inside, so it's about um, two centimeters, and then you pop your metal tools into the basket. in and then you're going to place the lid on top now you'll see there's two grey handles on the lid and two grey handles on the base now they must line up um, it's a bit like a pressure cooker so that it needs to have a seal so you need to make sure that you put the handles at an angle and allow the lid to slot into the to the um, spaces provided and then you simply twist line up the, the handles. So the handles must be lined up and there's a valve at the top that must be down so it must be flush with the handle. Okay and then on the front we've got some dials so we need, the, we need to press the right dials and you need to watch out for the dials that go through the process and make sure that it is complete and sterilised. So there's a banana shaped dial with um, a diamond on that you would press and this would start the autoclave and the lights light up in succession so you've got a light to indicate that it's on that it's reached temperature that it's complete and that the tools are able to be taken out so once it has gone through the process about 10 minutes it will beep make a sound and you'll know the tools are ready so because it takes 10 minutes this must be the first thing that you do when you come into the room your treatment room or your salon for your training so you need to put all the tools in here first of all and then they'll be ready and cooled for when you come to use them so once it's completed you simply release remove the lid you take out the basket set it down, allow that to cool. What you mustn't do, which some people are tempted to, you mustn't tip this basket out onto a piece of bedroll, a piece of tissue. You must keep it in here because if you tip it out onto another surface, it means that the tools inside are not sterilised. So they'll be touching a surface that isn't sterile and therefore become contaminated. So you need to make sure that that's out of the way of the autoclave it's cooled down and then what you would simply do is you come over with your barbicide and you'd pop your tools into your barbicide ready for your treatment. So this must be done for every new client. So if you had a client in for a manicure and a pedicure, you only would need to do that once for your client. But if you had separate clients for manicure then pedicure, you would need a different set of tools or you'd need to sterilise in between. And this is why in salon, you usually have multiple tools where this is done first thing in the morning and then you come and use the tools and then put them into a used a box for then re-sterilizing for the next day. The autoclave heats up under pressure to 123 degrees so it's again like like I said a pressure cooker so the, the, it captures the steam inside, heats up 
um, and and then that's what sterilizes the equipment. If this valve is left open, what happens is the steam escapes and the autoclave never gets to that temperature, therefore the tools are not sterilized.